Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.39 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is use the mass current method to find the power dissipated in the 15 ohm resistor in the circuit of figure P4.39. So this is the figure and because we are asked to use mass current analysis, use, let's draw the loop first. So this is I1 and this is I2. Okay, and what can we notice next? We have V delta here, which is this dependent voltage source depends on. So we need to know what V delta is in respect to I1 or I2. But we can just use Ohm's law for this one. So we will have V delta. Remember that the Ohm's law said that the voltage is the current multiplied by the resistance. The current is I1 and the resistance is 4. So I will have V delta is equal to 4 I1. 4 is the resistor value and I1 is the current. This will be very useful later. Okay, now let's do KVL at loop 1. Okay, KVL at loop 1. Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Okay, let's trace for each component. Let's start from this 65 volt voltage source and the current flowing from the negative side to the positive side. So I will have negative sign, so I'll have minus 65. Then let's move on to that 4 ohm resistor. And remember, we need voltage. So voltage is the resistance multiplied by the current. So we will have I1 because the only current that pass through this resistor is I1. And now let's move on to this 5 here. But there is two current that there are two currents that pass through this resistor. I1 here and I2 there. Currently we are working at loop I1. So I1 came first. So I will have I1 came first. But here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction of I1. So I will have minus I2. Good. And that is the third component. And we still have one more component. This 6 ohm resistor. So I'll have 6 multiplied by the only current that pass through it, which is I1. All of that will equal to 0. Let's move this minus 65 to the right hand side and let's work the others. So I still have 4 I1 here. And then let's distribute this 5. So we will have 5 I1 minus 5 I2 and then plus 6 I1 here and on the right hand side I will have positive 65. Okay the term I1 I will have 4 plus 5 plus 6 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 6 is 15 so we'll have 15 I1 and then minus 5 I2. Okay, all of that will equal to 65. And I think we can divide both sides by 5. So we'll have 3i1 and then minus i2. And for this one, I will have 65 divided by 5 is 13. I think we can save this as equation number 1. Okay, now let's do another KVL. But this time at loop number 2. KVL at loop number 2. Again, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Okay, let's start from this 5 ohm resistor. So we'll have 5 here. But there are two currents, I2 and I1. But currently we are working on I2. So I2 came first. So we'll have I2. And then here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I2 minus I1. Good. And now let's move on to that. So I will have 8. And the only current that pass through it is I2. And then here I have another voltage source. But this time the current is flowing from the positive side to the negative side. So we will have positive sign. And the magnitude is 3V delta. Okay, 
then what else i think we still have one more component which is 15 so i will have 15 and then the only current that pass through it is i2 and all of that will equal to zero good now let's distribute this five so we will have five i2 minus five i1 and then plus i think i will have eight i2 and i will have plus three v delta v delta is four i1 so we substitute v delta with four i1 and then i will have plus 15 i2 and then all of that will equal to zero <laughs> okay now for i1 let's work with this minus 5 plus 3 times 4 3 times 4 is 12 12 minus 5 is 7 so i will have 7 i1 and then for the i2 i will have 5 plus 8 which is 13 13 plus 15 is 28 so i have plus 28 i2 and all of that will equal to zero i think we can divide both sides by seven so we will have i1 and then plus 4 i2 and that will equal to zero okay uh, let's save this as equation number now what we need to do is to solve for solve equation 1 and 2, right? Okay, maybe let's write equation 1 first. So we will have 3i1 minus i2. Okay, and then for i2, I will have, for equation number 2, I will have i1 plus for i2 okay this one is equal to 13 and then this one is equal to 0 okay we need to find out i2 only right because we are asking to find the power dissipated by this 15 ohm resistor which is the only current that pass through it is i2 so we need to eliminate i1 so let's multiply this by 1 and let's multiply this by 3 so all this one become 3i1 so we can eliminate it right so the first equation is still that so 3i1 minus i2 is equal to 13 and then for this one i will have 3i1 and then plus 12 i2 and that will equal to zero okay now let's eliminate this 3i1 so we will have this will be zero and for this i will have minus 13 i2 is equal to 13 therefore i2 is minus one ampere okay that is an important value but the question does not ask about the current but the power but we can use the power formula here the power is i squared multiplied by the resistance right so the current is minus one so we'll have minus one squared and then multiplied by the resistance which is 15 ohm minus 1 squared is 1 so the power is 15 and this is the final answer for this problem let's highlight that and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye